Here's a video on how I sketch a moose from a reference. Now the way I do it is I, uh, I put my references off take that spider out of there my references off to the left so I'm not looking over my arm to draw and I have it either to, to the left or above my sketch pad so I'm not it's not my way and then generally speaking I start on the left side so I'm not dragging my hand across when I'm drawing and I try to draw what I like to draw this is a little hint is just when you're drawing draw what you like to draw otherwise you ain't going to draw it's just that simple it's whatever drives your art that's what you do so um, here we'll start out I think is how I usually start out start out with that one antler Make sure you give enough room for the other one. And I always draw what I can see. And when somebody will tell you don't copy, that's baloney because that's how most artists learn how to do things. It's by copying and you gotta learn how to draw what you see. Instead of, because you're gonna do everything from memory it ain't going to go your way. So, it's like learning how to sing. You got to sing somebody else's songs before you make up your own songs. I'll probably give myself enough room here, but we'll just keep going with it. I started drawing when I was a kid. It was one time my mom and dad were, I don't know if they were watching TV or looking at the Sunday paper. And my dad had a Sports Illustrated magazine. I was about probably five years old or something. And he said, why don't you draw that? So I was, took my piece of paper, I was going to put it over the top and trace it. He said, no, I didn't say trace it. I said, draw it. Look at it and draw it. So that was the first time I ever drew by looking at something. So, you know, most of the time when I first started doing this, I would proportion everything starting with how many eyeballs it was. Like, for instance, here's the eyeball and it's probably three eyeballs across and the ears probably four eyeballs so then I'd go like okay that's four eyeballs okay now how many ears to the end of the nose so then I'd come down this way but, but I've been doing this for a while so I kind of just draw it it was just you think about it, it's a little more artistic anyways but once you draw enough and I would say don't give yourself a lot of time to do this I would do this before I wanted to work and I would uh, I would uh, only have about five minutes maybe or ten minutes or whatever however early I got to work and of course when I was in school I'd always do this instead of my schoolwork but that's probably not a good way to do things so uh, I would um, it was, you'd only have five or so, maybe five, ten, fifteen minutes to go when, before I went into work. I would have to draw. And uh, I learned that from reading in an artist magazine about, uh, I believe it was a, was a doctor who was an artist. And when she had plenty of time, she'd sit down and then she'd go, oh, I don't know, well, let's see, what am I going to draw? But she said when I only gave myself a certain amount of time to draw, like when she only had five or ten minutes or fifty minutes or half an hour, whatever, she would get things done. 
and I found it to be much the same way with myself. So that way I learned to sketch fast. And that's, I don't know, I believe you might get a faster, looser sketch if you do it fast, which probably is probably more appealing than something you labor over. And now, most of the time when I draw, I always have, I do it with a pencil eraser, but for the videos, I'm doing it with the charcoal pencils, so. So it might, because the pencil don't show up good on my videos. So anyways, like I said, you, you have to draw what you like. Otherwise, when I was going to community college, I went for art and the, the art teacher had us in a drawing class and he would have us drawing shoes. And I, one time I complained to him, I said, why are we drawing shoes every day? And he just set us on a different angle from the table. So we would, there was like four or five of us. So then when one day we'd sit on one side of the table and draw shoes and then the next day we'd turn and the next time we had class, we'd come in and draw shoes from a different angle. And it's like, I don't need to draw shoes. Of course, that wouldn't make me very popular with the teacher. Just like his choice of music that we listen to. I didn't know it was the whole person music, so I mouthed off about that too. And he wasn't real happy about that either. So anyways, Be careful of what you say around your instructors, I guess. Some of them are sensitive. Some people are very sensitive. So. So I'm just shading in with this. Of some lighter hair up here, like it is in the photograph. And I started out cutting off reference pictures out of magazines when I was younger because we didn't have internet them days. Nowadays, you could probably go print to yourself out something or just have it on your laptop or something. I don't like this nose, it isn't big enough, so I'll make it bigger. Oh, and that's another thing is make your reference or to make it easier on yourself, you usually um, make your drawing the same size as your reference photo because that makes your life a lot easier too. And then the eyes and the face are usually the most important thing to make, which mine is kind of messed up now because I didn't make it big enough. And like I said, I like to and I like to erase if I get a chance. So I'll try to fix it a little bit with this white pencil here. But like I said, if you can make it the same size as your, make your drawing the same size as your reference material, your life will go a little easier. And then the, the longer you do this, the, the quicker you can, you should be able to be able to draw this from memory after you draw it probably three times. I, at least I have found it that way. So I think that's about it for this one. But you get the idea. I need to share my pencil again. This is the shadow side of the moose. The sun is coming from up probably this way, I would say, or from a little bit from behind. As you can see from the Photograph. There's a little black ring around her eye. So there you have it. A fast moose sketch. 
and I did smudge a little there because I got some on my finger. So there you go, a fast moose sketch. Like Roy Rogers used to say, may the good Lord take a liking to you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.